Hey there, welcome to the latest episode of the Sexy Thyroid Solution. I'm your host, Angela Brown. So today I wanna to talk all about how water intake can affect weight loss. But if you could do me a really big favor, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you could go ahead and subscribe to my channel and then hit that bell so you get a notification when I release a new video every single week. And then if you're watching this on my other social channels, share this with someone who could benefit from this. So this is a subject that usually doesn't get talked about when you start thinking about weight loss, the thyroid metabolism, um, is water intake. So I wanted to shed a little bit more light on the importance of water intake. Now we've all heard it over and over that you need to drink enough water, but I want to give you some um, clue as to why this actually is really important. So one thing to always consider is when you are getting proper hydration in, it can actually cause um, your body to have less cravings. Um, you can actually um, feel fuller. Um, the satiety um, kicks in and it will make your body actually think it's fuller. If you think about it, you know, if you chug down a whole bunch of water, you feel full. Well, think about if you're just consistently, not necessarily chugging down a bunch at once, but if you're consistently all day long drinking enough water and fluids, um, it will sort of make you feel fuller. Um, it also can reduce the amount of sugar intake because the water is again going to keep you fuller and your blood sugar stays more stable um, it also can end up boosting that metabolism with or without having hypothyroidism by the way um, because the body is staying completely hydrated and your thyroid needs that as well remember thyroid is your master gland it needs everything and it definitely needs hydration so it can boost that when you are consistently keeping your body hydrated everything kind of falls into place when the body's hydrated properly um, but one big factor that i wanted to mention was the type of water this is where it actually becomes even more crucial so when you're drinking tap water there's a lot of toxins things like that in tap water um they have actually found like medications because when people throw medications down the drain um flush them down the toilet when they're um, not using them anymore or getting rid of them they're finding it in tap water um so you're getting actually like unused medication inside um tap water and um toxins and chemicals all these things are coming up in tap water they're not getting caught through filtering so this is where it becomes very important like i mentioned you want to be very careful with that so one way you can do that is get a filter um either on your sink um, on your refrigerator but make sure it's a good quality filter like here where i live um, i use a system by culligan um, I think they're all over the United States now, um, but here they're actually local. It's a local company that I got it, got it through and it's attached to my refrigerator and to my sink. So my water is very, very filtered and it's super clean. Um, you can also um, think about bottled water. Now, here's where it also can get tricky. If you're using bottles that are uh, have a ton of BPAs and plastics uh, in the plastic and things like that, be very careful with that. I actually have a list. If you would like that, reach out to me, but I do have a list of some better quality um, waters that you can drink from and the bottles are less toxic. Um, spring water is probably gonna be my go-to thing if you have to drink uh, drink bottled water. Um, that's kind of where I would go with that. But if you want more information on that, definitely reach out. I'm happy to give you some more information on um, the type of bottled water that you should be drinking um, if you do have to drink bottled water. Your best bet is to get it filtered, to have some sort of filter. Um, Berkey makes a really good filter. Um, they make whole house systems now too as well, by the way. Um, but I usually just, like I said, at least if you can get it somewhere in your kitchen, that's a great way to be filtering out your water because the less toxins you have coming in your water, the better your body is gonna be. Your minerals will stay balanced. Your metabolism will work better. Your thyroid will work better. So it's all things to consider. So. Um, again, reach out if you have more questions with this. I hope this helped you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.